This is the Notebook Spin 7. Yes, Samsung's latest laptop uh, at the entry level price point, or at least, you know, priced at $899. Now, the Notebook Spin 7 is a 13.3 inch uh, laptop, which I'm calling my new portable gaming laptop, and I'll tell you why in a second. But what you have here is 13.3 inches. Uh, really, design wise, it's kind of basic, let's just call it what it is. But it does pack in a lot of really interesting performance. Weighs in about 3.2 pounds. You've got a uh, USB Type-C port, you've got HDMI out, you've got USB 3.0, regular USB 2.0, you don't have a micro SD card slot, which I'm just wondering why. Now the keyboard itself is really nice, great keyboard. You've also got a multi-touch touch screen as well, 13.3 inches at 1080p resolution. And of course it can stay in different modes. You've got your tent mode, you've got your uh, laptop mode, you can put in different modes all together, and you've got a solid battery life. Now it's running the latest uh, Intel Core i5 processor, eighth generation, 256 gigabytes, of storage, eight gigs of RAM, and you're thinking, wait, Thunder E, you said gaming laptop. I said it because I was able to play and use the GeForce Now beta to game on this. So I got some really solid frame rates, as you can clearly see. This thing totally killed it. Yes, I was able to do uh, 60 frames per second locked on Witcher 3, on Call of Duty uh, World War II and on Doom itself. This was absolutely amazing to take with me on the going game. And of course, it wasn't plugged in as you can see. I got, I got some really good performance. So that's of course the GeForce Now beta, but you can do this on the, with this device. Now in terms of what the other things you can do with this device, you've got a few Samsung apps that they've kind of highlighted. There is a voice recorder, allows you to do some voice recording because it's really got a, got a really good mic and it's got a far field mic so you can actually walk around your hotel room and record audio and you can save it to the Samsung Cloud. You've also got a, 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 like a photo video editor, very light and simple. For those who want something simple to use, that can actually do it. Now, in terms of, uh, in all in all, this is a very good basic device. I'll call it what it is. Uh, it's simple, it's easy to use, it does what it does. It also comes with a fingerprint sensor that's on the power button that allows you to turn on, uh, to basically uh, unlock your device uh, by basically tapping that button and bringing it to life. So that's actually pretty cool. I like it. I got some really good battery life from this device uh, with video playback up to about, uh, let's see, about nine and a half hours with it, just video playback. Why? I was stuck in the airport, my flight was delayed, and I was able to watch all my shows and finish Altered Carbon all in one using the Notebook Spin 7. So that is absolutely pretty cool doing that. And again, it's actually on max setting brightness. For some reason, I left it on that. So, oh, yeah, close to, max, close to max setting brightness. So just saying, it handled pretty well. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions or any comments about the Notebook Spin 7 from Samsung, let me know. Also the GeForce Now beta, um, ask any questions, I'll try and answer them for you. I'll have a dedicated video for that coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Once you do, hit that notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much again, and always enjoy your entertainment. I'm The Flash.